Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about um, coming to you here on May 28th um, to talk about the the opening of the LPL summer split. Um, we have a two gamer here on uh, May 29th. Yep. So it's exciting. We have the summer split back. We're back to the grind. Um, you know, we're going to have LPL and then LCK starting pretty soon. And then we'll have some sort of weird scheduling, uh, changes here and there, I think due to the Asian games, that Asian game tournament tournament, um, that's kind of like a regional world cup tournament that they're, they're going to have, um, in esports um, later in the fall, basically. So we'll see what happens there, but until then we're going to have regular, schedules of LPL and LCK games. So that's exciting. Um, hope you guys had some fun playing the MSI slates on DraftKings or any other DFS or fantasy sports websites. Uh, but yeah, so we're back to the normal <laughs> back. Some, we got some normalcy back here today. Um, so yeah, it's exciting. Uh, I'm going to be back to the grind of making these types of videos uh, for previews. Um, I really haven't delved into today's matchups yet, um, so this will be a longer video than usual, I think. Um, so I'm trying to get back into the groove of things as well. So, all right. So we have two game. We have a two game slate. Um, so, but before we go any further, please, please hit the like button or subscribe button below. Um, it would mean a lot and motivate me to make more of these videos. So I appreciate that. If you can do that, that'd be great. Thank you. All right, we have Ultra Prime versus Anyone's Legend, and then we have Thunder Talk versus FPX. Um, as usual, we have some roster changes. Um, we have these as part of any split, um, so we'll kind of go through them together. And then at the end of the video, hopefully, you know, we'll have some good senses in making predictions um, of these matchups. All right, first, let's look at the odds. Ultra Prime versus AL. Um, this is what I typically do, even though it, the, the, the odds don't really mean that much to me. Um, I guess they mean a little more toward the beginning of um, the split. But at the end of the day, I do my own analysis and I've kind of come up with my own odds and predictions. So I think that... It's helpful to see where the market is going and what the market thinks and hopefully kind of, you know, sees where the ownership leverage will be based on that. All right. Ultra Prime, anyone's legend. I think that's a toss up, it looks like. And then Thunder Talk is heavily, not heavily, but, you know, uh, favored over FPX. That's interesting. Although FPX was really bad last split. All right. I do want to look at... The kills over under if they have it here. There we go. All right, this was Ultra Prime and New Orleans Legend kills, total kills. Like I said, I think this video is going to be a little bit longer than the future ones because I'm trying to get back in the groove of things as well. All right, over 20. Okay, this is probably it right here. 25. Yeah, 25. All right, let's look at the other matchup. And I only do this, for those of you who are new at these videos, watching me uh, make these videos, I look at the total kills over odds um, to see if they line up with my analysis, but also... Um, to kind of measure the kill upside of each, each matchup. And, you know, that typically determines the long stack versus short stack. All right. Here we have 25 as well. So pretty close. I mean, they're going to be both close. They, I think the I think Vegas also, and, and the market don't really have much data to go off of since this is the first game for both teams with new rosters, you know. So I, I think that's probably where it's where it's at right now as well. Um, all right, so let's look at the each roster updates. Ultra Prime, I want to see that right, Harry, Ning, Forge. We're familiar with them, Doggo, as well. And Sword Art, for those low fanatics, League of Legends fanatics, you know, you're familiar with Sword Art. He used to be on Suning, and now he was he was on um 
uh, TSM and, and the LCS. Um, but now he's back and he was backing up somebody. Let's see. He was backing up some team. Is it TSM, Weibo Gaming, Anyone's Legend and Ultra Prime. All right. Anyone's, he was on Anyone's Legend. Um, I was not really thrilled with his performance uh, on that. So let's see. Who else did they change? Gaming Forge. Sorry. Um, yeah, so not much changed. Let's see. Who left? Ching. Okay, the mid laner. Yeah, so Forge is now permanently starting. Balon support. Okay, he got replaced by Sword Art. We have Hook and Ning. Hook was signed, yeah, like three days ago from the Academy roster. But Ning is starting, right? Okay. So there is some substitution chance right here at risk, I guess, um, at jungle position. Um, Ning is not bad. I mean, he used to, you know, jungle for IG and all that as well. So, but he is kind of old, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, they don't really have any other substitutes other than the top laner ZS versus Harry. ZS, as you guys know, played some last season or last split. Um, but Harry is starting today. So there is some substitution risk in the top lane and the jungle position. So risk top and jungle. Yeah, I mean typically this doesn't happen. Um, once you once they have the starters, they don't typically mess with the you know substitutes um, during the series. But if they look really bad, obviously the team will make the changes. But most likely. Especially this is since given that this is the first game, first series of the split. I'm sure the coaches are gonna kind of watch them, have them work together and play together at least for the first series. That's my prediction, but we'll see. Not likely. But yeah, I mean, so Ning starting, Harry starting, Doggo was kind of dog shit. Um, but I want to see the stats. How they performed last split. Especially the jungler, you know. Doggo, Harry. Harry was not bad at all. Okay. Ching, middle. Ning was pretty bad at jungle. Interesting. 172. I do want to see the jungle, the EGPMs last split, and see how Ning did. Oh shit! Look at that. Bottom. Bottom. Wow. Wow, that's really bad. Okay. I want to. That's a very sick thing. All right. Ning, OP, UP jungler, had the lowest EGPM of all junglers in LPL spring split. That is very significant. I think that probably cannot be trumped, in my opinion, because you know how much I value the, the importance of the jungler. Um, unless he like improved very significantly during the offseason, which I highly doubt. Um that's a big, big obstacle to overcome, in my opinion. I forgot how bad he was. That is crazy. I mean, look at that, 172 versus 252, which was the highest for Kanavi. I mean, Kanavi, okay, that's, maybe that's not a fair point of comparison. Leanne, 213, yeah, and then still, I mean. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then let me see other ones. Like, let me look at A to carry, see how Doggo played. Doggo was toward the bottom as well. You see that? I mean, 
And then let's see, let's look at the top laner. Harry was toward the bottom. Hmm. Middle, who was it in now? Starting Forge. Forge was down here. Ching was up here. Forge played nine games, so that's a sizable sample. Okay, well, I don't see Sword Art. Did he play a lot? Yeah, 41 games. Okay, he played 41 games, but he was down here. You see them? You see what I'm saying? So overall, like, I'm not impressed with. Not impressed. Well, I'm just going to say UP players all across the board had very low EGPMs last split. Hard to overcome. Okay, so yeah, that is I'm so I'm I'm very low on Ultra Prime, so I'm gonna look at anyone's legend. And you know how I feel about Xiao Hao if you watch my previous videos, but I think this is the split where he's gonna bounce back a lot. But we do have um an unknown unknown here. Z how do you pronounce it? G J P. Let's see. All right, sorry about that. All right, and then, all right, so Anyone's Legend had some good players that I really like, um, definitely more than the counterparts at Ultra, for Ultra Prime. Um, this Ada Carey, who's starting here, is is an unknown player that I, I think it says he's, yeah, he's doing, he's making the debut in the LPL. Um, let's, so let's see who he is all about. Um but first, I want to see anyone's legend how Xiao Hao did comparatively, um, comparably last season or last split. Sorry. Um, Xiao Hao was up here. Ning was down here. So Xiao Hao was not that much better, actually. Um, you see, he was he had one eighty three overall versus one seventy two, so that's not that much better. Um, but I know that he is more than capable of being up here in the top half of the junglers because he showed that um the previous season. Unfortunate that I think his teammates kind of didn't help him out uh last split, but we'll see how this having a different eighty carry can carry over. <laughs> so let's see um the roster real quick. So right now I'm like very down on Ultra Prime. So let's see if I find some things that support or confirm my anyone's legend pick that I am inclined to take. Um, so you see here all the changes that they made, the team has made. Um, you see Forge. Well, I think that was before. Yeah, I already did that. Um, Sword Art. Okay, so he he left. Anyways, I'm not, I think that's actually an upgrade. Um, Zora, okay. I think Zora played for um, like Rare Adam or something before. So let's look at that. Yeah, Rare Adam. And then he was in the Academy actually for a little while. I guess after last season. Um, and then he was signed to anyone's legend. So I thought Zora was okay last season against, uh, I mean, for Rare Adam, but that Rare Adam team was kind of toxic um, with iBoy there and stuff like that. Didn't really have a good role for support, in my opinion, because iBoy would just farm and not doing anything. So Zora is an interesting pick there. I think that could be an upgrade over Sword Art given that Sword Art had such a low EGPM, and he really did not have much influence throughout the map, um, like supporting, accompanying the jungler and stuff like that for anyone's legend, even though Xiao Hao is a pretty good jungler, in my opinion. And then Betty left. Uh, that's a big loss, actually. Um, looks like he went to Beyond Gaming uh, in April. And then Harder, which is the subs to mid laner, left so let's see who we have here we have zdz Xiao Hao, pens i i boy is not oh wow i boy is on this team shit all right and he's the only substitute risk yeah that's man 
So if for some reason this guy is like really bad, I avoid could come in and substitute. Um, I'll make a note on that. Um, anyone? So uh, risk eighty carry. Five uh, percent, maybe I'll give it. So a little higher than the ultra prime one that I talked about, only because he's like a, he's making the debut and maybe he just like shits his bed, <laughs> and it's really bad. Um, so, but I want to see his stats. Like I think, given that he's got the nod to start the beginning, it to begin the split, I think he should be fine to move. Uh, to start. Um. This is interesting. He was. He grew. He um came through the entire RNG Academy team, which is really good. Like they're no, they're really well known for breeding good talents and stuff like that. Um, so I think that's a really interesting. So he only moved to the starting roster in March. Okay. All right, I want to see. Oh, fantasies for them. All right, I want to see how he did in the. Let me see if I can do this. Last split at that level. Um, LDL. Split two. Hmm. Split March, May 24th. How many games is that? I mean, let me see if it works. Okay, he played 15 games. Okay, that's a good sizable sample. Um, EGPM's 366. That's pretty good. And then I want to see how much damage. 29.4%. Uh, Good CS, 9.8. Kill share, very high. De uh, death percentage high as well. So it looks like he plays a little bit more aggressive on the aggressive side. Z -G -E. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, G -G -E. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. I want to see his EGPM comparatively compared to other 80 carries that performed um, in the LDL last split. He's up there. Look at that. He's up there, which is good. That's a good sign. Um, he was the top four EGPM AD carry um, in the LDL, in the academy level. So I think that's really good. And that's really hard to do. I mean, you see Shang, you see some of these names that played at the LPL level, right? Like Rat, Kepler. I mean, this is no joke. Like Ke Kellen. I mean, you see all of them. All of them. Um, I do think it's a very competitive academy. Even though it's at the academy level, it's very competitive um, in China. Um, so I think he will perform really well. And um, I know Betty is very hard to replace, but I think he will do well. I think he's definitely better than Iboy, and I think the coaches are going to be willing to give him more chances. Um, I don't think they're going to pull him right away. That's going to just kill his confidence, right? Um, so I think I think he should be fine. But I boy behind them. So yeah, good AD carry, decent AD carry, decent support that are replacing these guys, um, the old guys for I, uh, AL. And then we have, I want to see how the mid laner did last year, last split. Um, let me see. Now pins is starting right pins. Pins versus Forge. AGPM, Pins is... Didn't he start last year? No, is he? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know where he is. All right, where is he? Am I blind? Okay, he's right there. Sorry, guys. He was better than Forge, even though... Yeah, that's like in the middle. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, that's not bad at all.
and anyone's legend had the backup harder was bad okay yeah so i, I like pins and then we looked at the jungling mid late middle and then 80 carry support i want to look at the top laner and then i should be good to go right there all right zdz is down here but man harry where's harry harry's a little above so not very by much it's i think it's a wash 241 yeah i think it's all right so my ultimate prediction is al wins two to zero um shao how with the balance back split with the new ad carry prodigy from ldl last split fourth highest egpm among LDL 80 carries in the last split. Um, and also pins over Forge. And with new support for AL, I will take AL overall to win this series. In terms of like the kill upside, um, I think this will be okay. I think ultra. Pro I mean, Ning and Xiao Hao, they're the same uh, junglers from last split. So I want to see how high their C. Uh, 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 see, uh, it's been a while. CKPM is um, was last split. Um, so let's look at that. All right, Ultra Prime is right here, 0. 0.83 on the higher side, I guess. And then Anyone's Legend was down here. So Anyone's Legend plays tends to play a little slow. AL tends to play a little slower than Ultra Prime based on last split data. Kill upside. Same jungler, so similar paces expected. Okay. Okay. So I think that's interesting. I think I'm still gonna go AL. So we'll see what happens there. Um. Based on how the second match analysis go goes i might just play al and kind of take my stance with them so we'll see what happens there thunder talk versus fpx is the next matchup um it's an interesting one as Huan fung has been benched and now one xn is starting at 80 carry for thunder talk um i think Beichuan was spectacular last split um so we'll see what happens there we got fpx who they uh you know they struck which they struggle so much like they were probably one of the most disappointing teams in the lpl last split um so we'll see what happens there all right we want to look at one xn and then who else is let's see i think that's it yeah we got the same five for fpx same four for thunder talk all right let's look at Let's look at Thunder Talk first because they're favored and they played well uh, last split. Um, Thunder Talk, we have. Let's see who left. We we'll see Shin Liu, who was the support backup, left. Okay, it doesn't matter. We had iBoy leaving. Yeah. <laughs> we had iBoy backing up when Fong did it. Was that right? Okay. And he left. Short stint. But we still have Huan Fung and we still have we have one XN that I talked about. But there is some substitution risk here, I think. Um we have Eda Carry and support. I'm not sure who I if I know about this Xiao Xiao Huan Xiao Huang Ren. 
as a substitute from academy roster. I don't think he ever played. Um, I'll have to check. Um, but I don't think he ever played over Beichuan, so I don't think he's gonna play. But I just have to mention it. Um, Eddie Carey and support. I think we have Yunja Yuyanja starting. Yeah, Yuyanja. But Yao Yao is backing up there in the jungle. Okay, it's a lot. It carry support jungle, but not likely. All right, I wanted to see Thunder talk stats. They were really good. Um, overall. They were actually neck to neck. I want to see the individual stats though. We have Bay Chuan versus Hacker. Yeah, Bay Chuan's up here. Hacker's down here. Hacker actually stepped up a little bit. I know I was down on Hacker last split, and then he kind of showed up toward the end. So I'll give him credit um, where it's due, but Beichuan was really good last year, last split. Um, okay, so Beichuan's ahead. Uh, I want to see the one XN maybe later. Actually, let's look at that right now before I forget. So one XN must have um, played in the L LDL as well. Uh, let's see, one XN's right here. Okay, EGPM. All right, you saw that GCE actually played really well. Okay, and then we have one accent down here. So I think that's an interesting one. I think he he's not. I mean, he's not as good as the other eighty care that I just talked about, GCE. Um, but one accents uh, down in the middle. So I think he's just mediocre. So we'll see what happens there. Could be the byproduct of the team's competitive level, but I don't know. We'll see. Um. Yeah, let's look at what how how they did in the mid lane. Um, it's UCal versus Care. Oh, UCal. I think I remember UCal like was like on point last year on some some champions. Yeah, I mean look at that thirty point eight percent. Was he the highest? Yep. Holy cow! So UCal captain might become popular today. So we'll see what happens there. Um, but he was lights out, it looks like even higher than like some of the guys like Cream and Shahu and Rookie. I mean, that is really, really impressive. Um, whereas FPX's care was down here. I mean, he wasn't bad. Look at that. He wasn't bad at all. But Yukal played really good. I had a great statistical spring split. All right, and then I wanted to see LWX. Yeah, so like one one XN we just saw they were he was kind of toward the middle. Um, I want to see how the LWX did. He was like toward the bottom. Okay, so not that impressive. I think they'll be all right. Yuan Jecho, I'm not gonna look at the support. I'll look at the top laner Ho Ya versus Shaolin Who. Shala who's here, Hoya's down here. Uh they're both kind of shit. Yeah, not much different, but man. So I think FPX can maybe pull it off. Like I said, Hacker started playing well. Started playing well. I remember toward the last part of the spring split. Um, and then with the unknown at 1XN, 
80 carry position. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, Thunder Talk should be favored. I think the odds are right. I think Bei Chuan is a better jungler than Hacker overall. Um, I think Ho Ya has a better metric over Shaliao Hu. And then you, Kyle, like I said, had an amazing, amazing spring split. So, and then with the unknown going up against what we know of LWX, who's just mediocre, but, you know, I think that's the mystery piece right there, right? So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think I think Thunder Talks should win. The TT should win. Two to, two to one, maybe. But with Hackers Resurgence last split, I like to take my chances with FPX and GPP. So I think that's where I'm going to go. Let's look at last thing I'll look at is the kill upside. Sorry, this video has been a little longer than expected. Um, as mentioned, I haven't, I'm kind of getting back in the groove as well. Um, here is the KPM, TT, very low. <laughs> and then FPX, kind of low as well. So given the same junglers and same and players in the most lanes, I think FPX tends to play a little faster than TT. So I I really think this matchup, I think this matchup is will be slower and less bloody than the Ultra Prime AL matchup. I think Ultra Prime AL matchup will be faster. So that's my guess. All right. Without any further ado, um uh without any anything else, um uh let me know if you guys um have any other questions or if you want to chat league or DFS in general, let me know at DFS Chan. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this was helpful. I think tomorrow's will be a lot more efficient <laughs> and entertaining. I think I'll have some more notes ready. I think so that we'll be having a shorter video, but hopefully this was helpful. Let me know. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah. Hit the like or subscribe button below. Thanks. Bye-bye.